Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now, I'm friggin' tired today, can't seem to wake up. But we've got some really cool music to check out. I'm excited about checking out these bands today. Uh, we've got some metallic post-hardcore is how I'm going to describe it on the channel today. It's basically heavy post-hardcore with a, with a kind of metalcore edge to it, screaming and shouting. And post-hardcore nowadays has really gone quite soft. It's more about the melodic side of things uh, and a bit math rocky as well with it. Uh, I don't hear many real heavy post-hardcore bands anymore. Whereas back in the day, in the early 2000s, when post-hardcore was first breaking out, it was a mixture of very kind of heavy, chunky, hardcore-y sound and then some more melodic stuff as well. Uh, whereas it seems to just be mostly melodic now. The bands we're going to check out today, though, are that old-school flavour of mostly heavy stuff stuff and then a bit of singing and melodic stuff in there as well that's the stuff i like and that's the stuff you don't hear so much nowadays and you definitely don't hear it so much out of this first band that we're going to check out and i call these guys one of my house bands uh because they're a band that's stuck with the show for years and years now we've checked out tons of their tracks they generally send them over as soon as they've come out uh and we've checked these guys out loads and loads of times quantum drop love i like them a lot started out as a bedroom band doing all their own mixing and everything uh but as to time's gone on they've gone leaps and bounds in quality and ability uh, in their songwriting ability and in the recording and everything else and I think they are using a mixer and stuff now I'm not too sure about that it was on the last track anyway but their sounds kind of evolved uh, their videos have got much more high quality and better with all of it and it just it's been great to witness this band getting better on their musical journey but the track they've sent through today is nothing like what they've sent through before to us and they actually said to us yeah we purposely went out of our comfort zone with this one but we had an absolute blast doing it and from listening to it I'm gonna say now I think this might be the direction these guys need to head down uh, they have been doing quite a lot of pop punky uh, stuff for us recently Recently. Uh, a lot of melodic vocal and stuff like that but in this one he's screaming his lungs out and doing a lot of angry shouting and it sounds very cool I think this might be the way these guys need to go uh, screw the comfort zone so this track today is called Jamais Vu it's got a nice official video for it as well let's check this one out Good turn. It's like I need a wild for what I do not know. The more I try to take my way out, further and further down I go. This is where I lay my head. This is where I hate my show. But it's hard to call anything about this place my room. My mind breaks on to surface. It's hard to break your fucking ball. I must explain my anguish, or it was one of my own. Much heavier than we normally get out of these guys. Cool. Guy's done a great job on this one. Mary, Mary. 
Here we go. the bass at this section nicely man you just never heard this sound out of this band before guys you said this one was outside of your comfort zone this is your new comfort zone because this track was way above and beyond uh, what you've put out for us before. This was great. I loved everything about it. And I really wasn't expecting the trappy section in there as well. I listened to the kind of first half of this track and was like, geez, these guys have gone all heavy. What's all this about? Because we've never had that screaming and shouting. Even more gutturally deathcore stuff in there as well. Heavy kind of uh, metalcore edges in there. Um, and then into a trappy section, atmospheric section, which we haven't had out of these guys at all. Um, and they did a great job of it. So guys, if you're gonna, if you were just trying this stuff out, kind of and you were gonna go back to some pop punk after this, my advice would be give this more of a go because you've done a great job and I wanna see you evolve this style more and head more down this road because you're doing a great job of it. Danny's got a great scream on him. Um, I think I actually prefer his scream to his, his melodic vocal as well, especially as they put a bunch of distortion on there, roughed it up, sat it in the mix with the guitars nicely. Sounds great. He's got a heavy growl to him. And he can work it about from higher pitched stuff to more gutturally deathcore edges as well. Keep with the growl, Danny. You've got a nice growl on you. It works well with the distorted guitars. It's got a good tone to it. Definitely nice. They did a great job of this as well, working all the other elements of the band, the drums and everything else sounded cool. Some blast beats in there we got as well, moving up and down the tempos. Nice. I think these guys did a great job of it, had a cool atmosphere, the video was dope to go with it as well. Man, keep heading down this path guys, I really enjoyed this one and it just sounded like this was your style. Uh, I think you might have found your new comfort zone. Sick, great job, look forward to the next track out of those guys. Now the next three bands we're going to check out I think are all new to the channel and they've all got this kind of similar very heavy metal corey edge to them but also a post hardcore edge but melodic side to them as well as far as I can tell. So let's check these guys out. This next band is called Single Wound. The track is called A Sudden Apology. Let's give it a spin. Her voice. Stuck on the other side of this wall. Well, I'm 
believe so. I start to sink. Is that the end of that one? Yeah, just two minutes on this one. That was even a quick two minutes as well. These guys have nailed the sound very nicely. They had that kind of early 2000s, more jangly, single coil telly pickup. The bass sounded great because the, the single coil and not using a humbucker leaves more space for the bass tone uh, to fill it out. Sounded great. Sick drumming all over the kit, nice rolls and stuff down the toms. Great vocal as well to go with this kind of music. These guys just nailed the sound very nicely. Good high quality video so we can see them all rocking out in there as well. Top job, very, very cool. The next band is called Fractus. I think these guys are from Japan, uh, if I remember correctly. This track is called Invisible featuring Jen. Let's give these guys a spin.
Jeez. That was absolutely superb. One of the best kind of mathy post-hardcore tracks I've ever heard. No joke. That was seriously great. They absolutely nailed it. And everyone in this band is a freaking high-level musician as well. Uh, just nailing it on all the elements of the band. Incredible guitarian, math rocky, all over the neck. Great tone for it as well. You could hear the bass going along and the bass was doing all sorts with it. The sickest drumming. The drumming was so dope. Just took the whole thing to the next level. Uh, past the next level that they were already at from being high level musicians. Just the sickest drumming. Blast beats and everything in there. The best fills. Working his cymbals. The best drumming you could imagine. Loved it. And the vocal was just incredible as well. Absolutely nailed the vocal, moved in all the right ways, had a great harmony, sat with the music perfectly uh, and moved the track in all the right ways as well. These guys friggin' nailed it. That's 10 out of 10 kind of mathy post-hardcore. That's as good as it gets. These guys are friggin' nail it. Now, would you believe that all the bands that we're checking out today have got around 200 subscribers on their face on their uh, YouTube channels? Now, for a band that I'm honestly going to say is as good as any band out there making this kind of music, the mix was superb as well. Came across to you in, in just the right way. And they've got 200 subscribers, and these videos managed to rack up 2,000 views. A travesty. It's an absolute crime that there's bands like this out there, although they are all the way over in Japan. Um, and this is more kind of more Western music, I would say. But, you know, if anyone who likes that kind of music heard that band, they're going to say the same as me. That's an incredible dope band who they'll get straight on board with. So, man, next time we get this band on the channel, I want to see... Well, all of these bands, I want to see that they've got more than 200 subscribers because it's just a crime. Someone should get arrested for that. The last, boat, the last band we're going to check out today is called Lifeboats. The track is called In Your, Your Own Violence, sorry. And this one has got another high-quality official music video as well. So you can't ask for any more out of these bands. High-quality mixes, high-quality songs and, and compositions uh, with high-quality musicians and a high-quality video to go with it. They're just totally going under the radar. We need to get these guys more listeners. Let's finish off with these guys. Now you will try to forget And see the blood on your hands You'll be crying to be the Keep 
remember there's such great bands on today. friggin nailed it as well that was superb you probably see i've got a massive smile on my face all day today listening to these bands because i absolutely buzz off checking out and finding out about high quality bands that are absolutely nailing it with a great sound a great energy you can hear all the members of the band they're high level musicians sick drumming uh you know high level of drumming just above the standard beats putting extra frills and spicy bits in there to make it interesting uh it's high quality mixes a high quality video to go with it as well that's dope you just find out about them and you just just, it just puts a smile on my face that these bands exist, you know? Because these bands don't exist because they've got a record company behind them and a big, you know, publishing deal, uh, and they'd go to the best studios and pay for all of that and all the rest of it. These are underground bands, DIY bands, doing it themselves, dipping in their own pocket to get this done because they've got the passion to do it. Because you don't get this far down the road and have this level of quality uh, without all of that backing from a kind of the music business unless you've got the passion to get it done. And it just puts a massive smile on my face that there's that many bands out there uh, and we come across them every single day of the week uh, that are going under the radar, that at any other time in history, um, you know, if this was 20 years ago and these bands came out with this level of quality, it would, it would only be because they had a massive record deal behind them, but just say for some reason they managed to do it themselves and came up with this quality, it would, it would just absolutely be a massive storm across the whole industry. Um, because the only bands that sounded like this 20 years ago and more were, were bands that had a massive record deal they're on Roadrunner Records or something like that, and they had the best mixer, and they went to the best studio, uh, and then someone, you know, there was a million dollar publishing deal and all the rest of it, and you in Kerrang and all the rest of it. And now these guys are just putting their videos out on YouTube, you know, just like anyone else. I think it's absolutely sick that these bands exist, and there's so many bands like this exist nowadays that are just absolutely killing it. But what makes me, it's a double-edged sword, because what makes me absolutely sick at the same time, and I think is an absolute crime, is that these bands are going so far under the radar. And only they've only got 200 people subscribing to their channel and checking out their videos. That is a crime. But for people like me who like to dig about and find these kind of bands, it's just so much great music to listen to now. When you were digging about 20 years ago looking for underground and amateur bands, they sounded like underground and amateur bands because they didn't have a proper record deal. They didn't go to an expensive studio to get it done. And it sounded basically like a demo tape, you know? That's how 
almost all underground bands sounded. There was a real shift between being an underground band and being a professional high quality band. There was really nothing in between. Now there's a real, there's, there's a whole spectrum in between nowadays. And even people in their bedroom can sound 90% of their way there to having a professional studio mix. Uh, so the game's changed, you know, the, 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 the kind of landscape for being a musician, being a musician and being in a band has changed. My opinion is changed for the better because now we get bands like this exist that would have never existed before, high quality as any other band out there. Um, and you just got to find them out and dig about, dig about them. And these guys have got to do their best to try and promote themselves and let people know that they exist. That's what we're trying to do here as well now uh, is just letting you know that these bands exist. I'll do the digging about for you um, and, <clears throat> you know, find these bands for you. And then I'll just offer them up for you so you can just get straight on board. But that's all we're doing nowadays. There's so many sick bands out there on the underground scene that just need people to, you know, brush away the dirt and find them under there. Um, and there they are, just waiting, ready to go. Sick! I've had a blast checking out these bands today. I think they've all been super dope. And I really love to see what Quantum Drop Love are doing. Definitely keep heading down that path uh, because, you know, Eventually, you'll be the high quality as the rest of these guys that are today. Uh, and to say you're 90% there already. Uh, and it'd just be so sick. I just love it. There you go. Hope you're having a good one today, guys. What a sick video. All these bands deserve more listeners. So if you've enjoyed them today, just head over to their channel. All the links are in the description. And give them a like. Uh, and give this video a like as well if you've enjoyed it. Give it a subscribe if you're new and all that jazz. Uh, but otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.